I'm getting started on the pocket skins. So there's three of them, one on the left, right, and one in between the two hinges. So the first thing I'm going to do is blank out uh, some sheets of 16 thousandths that are the right width for each pocket and a little long because the extra uh, will get trimmed off when I trim the edge top and bottom. So I've got the sheet of 16 thou. I'm just going to line up and tape down to the table here and then I'll blank it out. So there we are. This is the uh, center section. And one thing I like about using the router is all the, you don't have any ripple. The edges are all flat. This is 16 thousandths thick and it's nice and flat when you're done. <clears throat> Corners are radius. I'm just going to clean up the edges a little bit and then start fitting it to the uh, pocket area. So I'm just going to deburr the edges a little bit. So here's my sheet and it basically sits right there and I want to get this curve in it before I start bending these angles at the top and the bottom. So what I'm going to do is roll this around a tube, get it to fit this shape, then I will bend the top so that it comes back and returns. <clears throat> then I'll click all that in position and work on uh, the final bend down here and getting this click out in, in, in position down here. So now it has a reasonable curve to it that should fit pretty close. So I'm going to bend the top or the bottom uh, flange. So I've marked out an inch. Now that flange is supposed to be about half an inch wide, but once this is all riveted together, I will trim that off to the right dimension. So just to give me some room to work, I marked it out at an inch. So there it is, and it fits in there pretty well. So I will drill and clico it in place, and then I will figure out the bottom here. The bottom has a half inch bend and a half inch flat down here where it gets riveted also. So I'm getting ready to put the rivets in the top to hold the first um, skin in place. So I laid a rivet line out uh, quarter inch off of this back edge here and I'm going to drill and then use my rivet fan to do the in-between rivets and then I also put the rivets in far enough because you have to clear the, uh, the rib down here with the rivet squeezer so they're in three quarters of an inch from the edge so now I'll punch them and drill them
And now I'll install the other two in the exact same manner. So now I've marked the center of the pocket rib flanges. And then I took and transferred those down. And then that'll be my locations for my, ri my uh, rivets when I put the pole rivets in. And I will drill all those and Coleco them now. So I've got all the pockets clicoed in place and so there's a little flat down here that um, gets put on this uh, one more bend so that these two sheets will meet and they can be riveted together so this pocket depth is supposed to be five and a half inches from the back of the spar so I'm going to measure it out and mark it five and a half inches and I'll do that down the other end down here too so now from that five and a half inch mark, I mark back half an inch because this flange where the rivets go is going to be half an inch wide and that'll actually be the bend line. So now I want to transfer that bend line to all the sheets. So I've got this bar I used because it's longer than four feet, which is my rule length. And I will set it up on here and draw a line. There, now all the sheets will get the same bend line. So that angle looks really good. So now I'll bend the other pockets. So with the wing turned over, I'm going to start uh, drilling and clecoing this trailing edge here. So I've laid out, this is the trim line when I trim the sheet off where it's going to get trimmed at. <clears throat> and then I laid a rivet line a quarter inch in from there. So I'm going to start Drilling and clicking, and I will use the rivet fan again to lay out the rivets. So there we go. So it's all clicked and drilled, obviously, and uh, ready to go on to deburring, dimpling, painting. So one last thing before I pull these skins off, deburr them and dimple them. I'm opening up these holes to an eighth inch for the pole rivets that will hold the skin in the aileron pocket in place. So with all the pieces for the pocket area dimpled and primered, so go back on for the last time, and I'll be ready to rivet. <clears throat> so I'm putting rivets in every hole up here, and then I'm going to use a backer bar to do the rivets against to hopefully hold this edge nice and straight.
There we go. So that's it for the pocket. And pretty much this wing, the aluminum work, is done on the main part of the wing.